Quick little disclaimer here. I'm aware of the recent layoffs that have taken place over at Bungie. It's something we all hate to see. However, I see myself as a much smaller creator in this Destiny community, so I'm sure you guys don't care about my thoughts on the situation. Instead, here's a little weapon review to take our minds off the current dark times and the future of Destiny 2. Enjoy. Okay, okay, okay. I get it. Egg on my face, right? Listen, maybe I jumped the shark on my original different times of view, which you can check out here if you haven't seen it yet, but it happens. But I'm an honest person, so after my opinion has been changed, I'm here to give an updated review. Um, Different Times is my favorite Pulse Rifle now. Now I know what you're thinking, I thought Insidious was your favorite, or I thought your favorite archetype was Aggressive Frame. All those things were once true, but things have changed, and to reuse a joke from the original view, these are different times. Now I'm still using the exact same role from then, which is Arrowhead Break, Ricochet Rounds, Moving Target, and Head Seeker, plus a ranged Masterwork. And there is a little nuance as to why Different Times is my favorite now. Namely, it's the Plug 1 Fusion Rifle, of which I have 11,000 kills. Now, that's not the only reason, then, because then it's like, why not use Peace of Mind? Well, for me, I crafted my Peace of Mind with Elemental Capacitor, which is a really good perk, but I'm not constantly using the same subclass anymore, so I don't want to deal with that inconsistency. Plus, the gun just feels good overall. It's got less handling than my crafted Oversoul, and it feels way lighter. Things just feel more fluid with the different times in hand. It excels in those medium to long range maps, especially if you can close the gap somewhat on the longer maps. Short range maps, eh, it gets the job done, but closer range weapons will obviously outperform it. But it's really good at dueling with other weapons. If you get that first burst off, then snipers pretty much have no chance. You just immediately flinch them and keep laying into them. It more than holds its own with other pulse proper frames as well. You just gotta be accurate, like with all weapons. And it's really more oppressive than people think. If you hit someone and they run behind cover, more often than not, they'll want to ego peek you, and you can punish that every time by just laying on the trigger. So, I changed my stance. Go and craft the different times. I definitely think it's more than worth it at this point. I've already put about 2,000 kills on it, and I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. But that's all for today, guys. Just a quick update to my previous opinion. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe for more content like this, and comment down below what your favorite pulse rifles. Thanks for watching. Peace.